Hi, I am Chetan from Market Introduction Team from SAP. I have Nitin with me, who is the CIO and founder of Wasp Technologies. Welcome, Nitin. Thank you. Nitin, from how long and when you started the journey with SAP? Well, our journey has been quite short. So we have been associated with SAP, although from a decade, but as a customer, it's uh, been in the current year, we are as a customer mm -hmm. and as a company, we have started uh, two years ago. Mm -hmm. How was your experience so far? Well, uh, the experience has been great. SAP is a great company, mm -hmm. great products, and uh, we uh, use these products for our day-to-day -day activities. Mm -hmm. And it, it helps us, you know, ease paperwork and also, you know, uh, to, to bring order into chaos. Okay. So how do you re uh, define your role as a CEO, CIO? Well, CIO is a, a strong and a, you know challenging role, mm -hmm. and of course uh, the main uh, task is to you know consolidate information, provide this information not only to employees mm -hmm. but to customers and also to stakeholders, mm -hmm. and uh, that's that's our primary task as a CIO. So, what are the three IT trends you can see in the market, and how it's uh, it influences the businesses? Well, now it's it's the age of millennials, right? So everybody does business on the phone. So wherever you travel, whether you're on the bus or on the train, you see a lot of people with uh, smartphones. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the way of doing business as of today. So a lot of people are using mobiles. Mm -hmm. So mobility is one of the biggest trend. And for, as uh, part of uh, strategies, IT strategies, bigger companies or smaller companies want to reduce their IT footprint. So they want to go one step higher you know how to save these costs put their um, software on the cloud they want to use it when they need it mm -hmm. and uh, so cloud is definitely one of the areas mm -hmm. and digitalization of of their business processes mm -hmm. so this is also one of the major it trends that i have seen okay so as CIO, what are the challenges and uh, expectations you have well, uh, from, from a software, what we are using or the IT products that we're using, basically it has to, you know, complement our business processes, mm -hmm. make our life easier, mm -hmm. at the same time bring full visibility into, you know, uh, the, the uh, metrics or whatever activity that we are doing, not only from the CIO perspective, but also from the employee and the stakeholder perspective. So that's, that's my expectation. So as CIO, what do you expect? How, how, how should it help to increase the efficiency and also increase the, or, or help you to grow the business? Well, uh, as, as uh, from the software perspective, so usability is the key. Mm -hmm. So ma uh, mainly when more users are adopting, so we are able to capture this data uh, and, and it should influence our business processes. Mm -hmm. So uh, the process what we use would suit our you know, area of business, and we don't adopt to the software, mm -hmm. but the software adopts to us. So that's that's basically what our expectation is from from the IT perspective. Mm -hmm. Okay. So since the the trends are changing and business models are changing, mm -hmm. so what's your opinion about software buying decision uh, in the company? Is it same or is it being changed? How it is being changed? Well, I answered that question already. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, adoption is the key. So, the the decisions are being made by the end users. Mm -hmm. So, that means if, if uh, adoption rate is high, mm -hmm. definitely the, the decision is easy to make. Mm -hmm. As well as, you know, when, when you try to enforce, lesser adoption is is seen mm -hmm. and it, it's a total failure. So definitely adoptable, ad, adaptation is, is the key and user-centric software is also the key. That's that's the the main decision okay. that's made. So how do you see the business transformation is happening uh, with respect to digitalization? Mm -hmm. And also how SAP is helping customers or uh, the people mm -hmm. uh, who can adopt this digitalization? Well, that's, that's a big topic. Mm -hmm. So we already discussed that millennials are using cell phones and uh, uh, also, you know, how, how does a company like SAP reach out to the masses or get more users onboarded where they can influence their lives? So basically, uh, usability, user-centric development and also making it simpler right so and and making it available on several platforms that means you know uh, ramping up users or training them 
all these factors are are you know crunched now and and then you provide it as an application as a software product which is accessible on various mediums so that's definitely something what influences all these uh, people okay so what is your opinion about uh, in this uh, like uh, platform which will help mm -hmm. customers to collaborate network and also learn about new technologies and new turn uh, new uh, business trends mm -hmm. so how how everyone can leverage this well as a user group uh, i i think it's it's a very big and uh, let's say a platform mm -hmm. that uh, and it's a very big channel that uh, partners customers as well as sap has what are the needs of these customers what are the needs of the partners mm -hmm. and how you know what is lacking in in each area so indus is definitely a, a wonderful opportunity mm -hmm. for all these people to collaborate mm -hmm. and also to get you know influenced by the roadmap or influence the roadmap what sap is taking as a company so definitely this is a very very good uh, uh, let's say platform mm -hmm. which is provided now uh, to to the user groups uh, or the users in india Okay, uh, you already talked about influencing. Mm -hmm. So, are you aware of uh, SAP influence opportunities for the customers? And as a company, have you taken part in uh, customer engagement initiative, customer connection, or guided beta, and so on, forth, so forth? The uh, different offerings from uh, influence. Definitely, we mm -hmm. we are active participants in this. Uh, all these engagements mm -hmm. and uh, we find it as a great opportunity for a startup like us mm -hmm. uh, to to you know voice out our opinion mm -hmm. and also um, put forth to a company like sap what are the you know major areas where you know there is a lack or what needs to be improved mm -hmm. so uh, it it gives us also a sense of you know existence mm -hmm. you know uh, because when it's a big customer or a bigger partner it's always heard but now that sap is listening to startups it's it's really a great opportunity for people like us okay so since you have good exposure and experience with influence uh, topics so what is your message to the customers and partners who are not so active with sap influence offerings definitely if they are not really active then they are missing out on on a, a lot of topics mm -hmm. that they could influence get aware of and also uh, they would miss the ticket of the bus mm -hmm. so if they want to be on 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 this bus towards innovation you know, to towards progress and also towards the new roadmap that sap has mm -hmm. they should definitely look forward to programs like this mm -hmm. and i would encourage also to sap to open up more mm -hmm. for partners like us that we are able to actively participate and and you know contribute over there as well as a community okay so what would be your one one message about uh, influence program uh, to customers well uh, one message is i'm really proud to be you know the voice of influence mm -hmm. and uh, i would definitely you know look forward to more that is coming out of this program okay so thank you very much for your time yeah thank you very much for this opportunity yeah.